Hello, my name is Hal Brindley and I'm the website administrator at the American Chestnut Foundation. And today I am joined by... I'm Angus, I'm the development analyst. And we are outside the national headquarters of the American Chestnut Foundation in Asheville, North Carolina. Today, we're gonna to introduce you to a couple of good friends of ours who live just outside of our national office and they are American chestnut trees. How old are these trees, Angus? So these two trees are uh, about seven years old and five years old. Um, we've got two American chestnut trees right here. Um, this one we have named Denny, and this one's name is Cassie. And these two trees are uh, from our back cross program. So these are what we call B3, F3 trees. And they are about 15 16 American chestnuts. And they're just starting to leaf out right about now. As you can see, Denny is a little bit lazier than Cassie is. Cassie is a lot more leafed out right now. And these two trees are are lovers, you could say. They pollinated <laughs> each other last <laughs> last year, um, and, and we're hoping to get some some more seeds this year as well. Are there male and female chestnuts, Angus? No, they're um, what you call monoecious, so they make male and female flowers. Each tree will make male and female flowers. When can we expect to start seeing male and female? Flower parts, body parts, <laughs> anatomy. Yeah, so um, these chestnuts will start, they flower a good bit later than other tree species like oaks. Uh, so they'll, they'll flower later into the summer and then you'll start to see the white, white flowers popping up. Very cool. We can't wait to see how these two do and we will keep you posted with regular stories this year and show you a year in the life of two chestnuts. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, y'all.